Welcome to another unit in this SPSS course. In this unit, I'm going to talk about how we can merge two data sets. So for this, we have actually two different situations which are possible. Either you use, for example, the same variables. So in other words, you use, for example, the same questionnaire, but you have, for example, like three people, each of them question some interviews. And then at the end, you should combine the different data sets they created from their interviews. So it's basically the same variables in all three cases. However, you would add additional cases. That would be one part. So if we switch to data view, this would mean you just append something in the lower part here. Well, this is relatively easy. This could also be done if you just copy pasted something from Excel. If we want to do this, we could go here in this case to no, here with data, then merge files. Here you see we have two possibilities. The first one, that's actually what I've been talking about at the moment. That's the add cases situation. So here I can either select a different already open data set. So at the moment I have BMI 1 and BMI 2 open. Here the current one that's 2. He tells me the one is also open. Or I can open another external SPSS data file. So if I continue with the other data set which is open, could go with continue. Then he tells me here on the left which variables are available uh, on the right, which variables are available in both data sets. So where we can actually pair the cases. And on the left, he tells me where he has problems with pairing them, where he actually misses something. So this is a problem I should always take care of. Also, here, if there would be an asterisk, this would mean the variable exists in the current data set, but not in the newly open one. If as here, there's a plus, it exists in the second one I selected a bit earlier. So there I also know, maybe I've added in a second version of the questionnaire additional questions. So those might not be able to be paired. Well, that's basically all there is. I could click here and then he would append all those cases. So if I go like this, in the data view, before I had 284. Now, as I see, I have exactly double this number. So I just appended the observation from the first one to the second one. So this works decently well. But what if I want to do the exact opposite? What if I first selected some information about some of my interviews, then I ran some experiments and then I collected additional information. But for some reason I collected this in two different data sets. So what if I want to add additional variables to all of this? If I want to do this, I can also go to data, merge files, but then I would use the second one, the add variables. If you go with add variables, again, same thing. I could open already existing data sets or I could open an external additional SPSS data file. If I go here with the original open one, at this point, he directly shows me those variables which are excluded because they have different numbers of observations. And here in this case, that's actually basically all of them. Because, well, this one, I already added the cases from the second one. So here the current one has twice the observations as the other one. So if you see something like this, all the stuff is here, all the stuff is here from the two data sets. This usually means you have a misfit in the number of observations. So something went wrong there. Then 
well, you should take a closer look at your data set. However, I will not go back there and try to do this with two fitting data sets. However, I would just want to mention here how you should proceed if you were to do this. And that's, well, if you just assume this to work as is, he would always pair first observation and first data set, second observa uh, first observation and second data set, second observation and first data set, second observation and second data set. So you would always go pair by pair by pair. Now it could be that, for example, one of those data sets is shuffled. This is especially if you work in different waves, if you work with panel data. In those cases, however, we have so-called key variables. We have a key which identifies, perfectly identifies each observation. This could be, for example, as here in this case, be a variable like um, the survey number. So that each survey has a clear number which differentiates it from all the other surveys. This could be that your interview has to generate some kind of key by taking, for example, the first two names of the first name of the mom, the first two letters of the city where he was born, and the two numbers which give his birthday, birthday date. So this would generate like a six-digit code, which can also be used as a key, which then would allow to pair different observations even, even if both interviews, both surveys were done completely anonymous. So that's how you can pair data and still remain anonymous with your analysis. However, you would have to define a clear key variable which does not generate additional duplicates. So it should be relatively heterogeneous as well. Well, here you would then have to select the corresponding key variable in the field on the right. At this point, well, we neither have a key variable nor do we actually have fitting variables with regard to the number of observations. So here clicking on OK wouldn't actually make any say, uh, sense at all. So here we could just click Cancel. But I think the general idea got across. We have two possibilities. Append additional observations. So you run separate surveys, but with the same questionnaire. Then you would use the Add Cases version. Or, for example, you question the same observations, the same interviews at different points in time with different questions. And now you want to combine all those questions or all those variables into one data set. In this case, you would have to go with add variables. And well, that's then already all I wanted to mention in this unit on merging files. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see additional input on working with SPSS, feel free to visit the rest of this course or have a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.